All right, so often after a crime, we often ask ourselves, why? And sometimes it can be traced back to mental illness. Sometimes. Well, on the peninsula, leaders are trying to help with that problem. Today, they broke ground on a new psychiatric emergency department. That's right. And news story reporter Angela Bohan was there and explains why this facility will be a first of its kind. With all that's happening locally and nationally, many people are working hard to break the stigma that often comes with mental health issues. Here on the peninsula, they're taking various approaches, and one way is to add a behavioral health emergency department. Let me reintroduce myself. I'm Gabe Morgan, and I suffer from PTSD. Newport News Sheriff Morgan getting real about mental health. He said law enforcement officers are often the first to see the effects of mental illness. We're trying to layer our response and make sure that the right people respond to the right call for help. Sheriff Morgan adding that you can lock someone up, but oftentimes it's not dealing with the root cause. And most people think that if you lock someone up, that that solves the problem. It actually makes the problem worse because they decompensate faster when they're locked up. And some people, it's more of a trigger. <laughs> this groundbreaking is yet another way to shatter the stigma that in the past has been connected with behavioral health. The new emergency department opening in 2023 will have a unit for adults and also one designed for ages 12 to 17. And what we're learning as we continue to evolve in, in mental and behavioral health services is having these conversations when people are young is what's really going to set the framework for their future. And with the mental health crisis now in the forefront, healthcare leaders realize how necessary it is to have additional treatment options. It certainly has been challenging long wait times to get into uh, provider offices. So really, how do we break down those barriers? Again, this facility is set to open late next year. We'll keep you updated on its progress and we will be here for the grand opening. In Hampton, Angela Bohan, News 3.